Hello guys, in the other video on the, um, when I introduced this VV9 machine, I mentioned, um, the brake on it, and how much I like it, so I thought I would show that off. And as you can see, it's, um, it's a very interesting setup, and if I might use my thumb here to pretend to be the, um, uh, I'll have to use use another finger. I use my finger here to pretend to be the turntable rim and break it. It, it applies very uh, gentle pressure, gentle but firm pressure, and the way it operates, it it doesn't apply the pressure all at once. It has sort of a um, gradual effect. And it's not real positive. If there's nothing there to um, use my finger there to be the turntable rim again, put the brake on. You see how the uh, over center action happens there with the spring at the back. And if there's nothing here for this to run into, the over center action doesn't occur. But there's something there for this to run into where it can't move all the way this way. So if I'm the turntable rim again, see it creates a nice uh, spring action that, that can come on in a nice gradual manner and it's not abrupt like the um, bullet brakes are on the outside horn machines that you've seen. So. Uh, I really like this brake. I like the way it operates. It, it doesn't take much thought or effort to break the turntable in a nice, smooth, um, easy motion. And so we'll put the turntable back on so I can demonstrate how it, how it functions. The nice, smooth braking action. This is easier said than done, doing it one-handed. I have to be very careful not to damage the finish on this very nice machine. Okay, I've got to move that back so it sits down in the position. Then get the uh, turntable to sit down on the split pin, wind the motor back up. So I've got a very silent motor on this machine. I think this machine is very low mileage. <laughs> um, in fact, I know it is. I bought it off of a friend of mine who found it over in Arkansas. And there's a um, there's a pin in the um, uh, winding gear train that. Um, connects the crank with the gearing that winds the spring and the pin was missing so you could turn the crank all day long and it wouldn't wind up so as consequence um, machine didn't get a lot of use and given how little wear is on this machine we suspect that it happened fairly early in the life of this phonograph so I do that again turntables turning and even if I it's very nice and, and gradual but if you do it with just a little bit of thought just casually sliding this over you're not just giving that instant stop that um, and see it's very easy to just ease it in too you don't have to even really think about it you just like I do with my with my thumb on the um, record on the outside horde machines. With this, you just just ease up on it, and it slows her down real nice. So couldn't be more pleased with it. Put the record back on there.
And Joseph C. Smith. I like Joseph C. Smith, so. Just doesn't really take any effort at all to just break it, just using the handle. And because of the way that toggle action works, that, that pantograph mechanism, you're not having to sit there and sort of baby it like you would on one where the leather is directly connected to the handle. You just slide it over to where it starts to make contact and slow it down. So... It's too bad Victor did not use this brake for very long, because that, that's a very nice brake. That's a Governor Spring Saver brake right there. I think um, this is my fav all-time favorite manual um, brake, turntable brake. Just so nice. So, All right, anyway. Thanks for bearing with me on that, and uh, I'll see you later.